What's good guys, it's DJNix here and we are back for some more Bleach Online. Now before we go any further, I just want to give a shout out to Brandon. Alright, now this video is because of him. Um, so let me tell you the story. So Brandon is uh, one of our good subscribers, alright? He's been here a long time and he met this guy named Morita Ryu. Um, and this guy is VIP7, okay? But, um, this guy is looking for help because he's having a hard time, um, you know, getting strong, alright? Now, I have lots of, um, guides. I have a, a mini series of guides in Leech Online on uh, what to do from start until your, um, end end game phase but um unfortunately people um uh, miss out on that and uh, i think they miss some of the details that i point out so this video is just about basic stuff okay if you're a pro you don't need to watch this okay but um you are still um free to make your own uh, opinions and if you if I miss something you guys can put it on the uh, comment section below okay uh, but uh, let's get started now first thing that I want to talk about will be the stone attributes all right um, <laughs> oh wait lady come back oh hello there oh all right shout outs to Khaled seven so whenever someone uh notices me <laughs> or recognize me i always do a shout out so shout outs to um uh khalid seven um but um yeah as i as i was saying um stone attributes okay let's let's talk about stone attributes so there are different kinds of stones obviously we got the um strength stones we got agility stones we got wisdom stones we got uh, stamina, hit, dodge, um, block, critical, um, break defense, and counter. All right, I think I got everything there. So we have those stones now. Um, strength stones affects your damage. Okay, it affects your damage and your um ability to resist physical damage all right so that's physical defense now agility is just your speed okay that's your speed whoever has the most speed um gets to hit first or gets to attack first okay wisdom is the same as strength stones but this affects your um uh with your magic attack and your magic resistance or magic defense okay keto in other words all right keto attack and keto defense now i'm gonna be uh, a little more in depth about this two stones right here because um this can get confusing for new players so um if you guys want to know more about this stay tuned okay now again this is for newbies new people if you are a pro you may not watch this you may watch a different video of mine or whatever you want to do just you know if you want to watch it feel free now stamina stones is just um, for your HP all right it affects your HP largely so you, you can see there the uh, percentage um, of which it will increase okay your HP so hit stones affect your hit rate, all right? Because um, uh, if your enemy has a lot of dodge, you might want to have a lot of hit stones just to hit the guy, okay? Now dodge, as I've said, affects your dodge rate. This will enable you to uh, evade, okay? It will enable you to evade attacks, not only attacks but also skill shots, all right? The skills that um each partner releases every time they have 100 fury okay now critical hit stones it's given it's for critical hit rate so um this stone is countered by the counter stones okay so the more critical you have um the much more hit critical hit rate you will 
will have as well and um, the more counter the enemy has the less chance you will have a crit rate all right so those two are always opposing each other same way as um hit stones and dodge stones um counter each other okay now block stones now um uh let's see this is joined with this one as well with um strength spirit stones because um uh the more blo block stones you have the more block rate you have all right the chance that you will block an attack okay but that doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a strong block attack okay so if you have more strength or more keto and you have more block stones the hard the harder your block will be okay your return damage is what i'm talking about okay because if you only have block stones yeah you'll block the attack but the uh, damage that you'll return um will will be less of a damage okay but if you have a lot of strength stones and you have a decent amount or have a lot of block stones you'll have a greater effect okay same goes with wisdom so if you have a um keto partner and you have block on that it will um get its power from wisdom okay because it's keto all right now um uh break defense this one counters the block stones okay so um if your enemy has a higher block rate than you um than your um break defense i mean then he will block each of your attack okay he'll have a very good chance of blocking your attack so if you're having troubles in um in this particular area you will know now what to get okay break defense counters block and block counters break defense if your opponent has a lot of break defense and you're seeing that your vanguard is not blocking then uh, this is the thing that you need block stones All right well um now that's it for stone attributes now stone stone placements okay now this is the um the problem of um of the guy that brandon met morita rio so um he found out that brandon found out that a lot of the stones are on the wrong places okay don't get confused okay um you will see here that a lot of this um logo right here is um yeah it might be confusing but you'll you'll see on the equipment as well like this one blade blade typically goes with um physical okay physical um what do you call this physical attackers okay now um once you look at um the support supports usually use um keto or they are the only ones who use keto i have yet to see um some uh, an assaulter that uh uses keto besides mc okay but um let's check it out um where are they fuck okay here it is runes all right rune will be attributed to keto all right now don't get confused because um I know that uh, supports are keto, right? Once a partner is using keto, their first attack, if you don't have turn one, their first attack is considered physical and not keto, okay? Um, let's, let's see here. Wait, did I get that right? Um, let, let's go to Sagaris, alright? Oh, it's the other way around, okay, okay, okay. I'll explain it to you guys. So let's just wait for this loading right here. There we go. So these Kisuke is my support. All right, take note of that. And my assaulters are physical attackers. Okay. And I died real fast there, so that's not gonna be. <laughs> but you guys saw the uh, first attacks, right? So. The first attack that um, your supports will release will be keto as well. Okay, 
that's key though so you don't need to put um physical attack right i mean strength stones you don't need to put strength stones on your um support because um well you can but that will only give you physical defense not attack okay but because the attack that it uses is keto so you want to stack up on um wisdom spirit stones okay so don't get confused the same goes to assaulters but you know assaulters is pretty much laid out there you you put in strength stones and they do pretty much everything they get um physical defense and a physical attack okay now um yeah take note of that don't get confused um the first attack that um your normal okay let's call it normal the normal attack of your supports will be based on keto and not physical defense those the skill shots all right the skills that your partners release when they have 100 fury it is based on your, the partner's main attribute now if it's keto then it's going to be based on keto if physical attack it's going to be based on physical attack okay so yeah now gears and equipment now i've talked about this on my um on my guide for beginners but again i'm gonna do it here because um some of the people just miss out on that all right so gears once you start you don't really need to fortify that much you don't need to um you don't need that high of a fortification on all of the gears all right once you start all right once the server is starting um the basics is just going to be this three in my opinion okay you get the belt for hp um boots for speed and the weapon for attack okay now um if you if you don't want to fortify any at least fortify the the weapon because it's going to help you a lot in terms of silver once um the the ryoka and the uh, evil spirit event come okay it it really helps a lot in there okay now that's for pve that's that's the thing that i'm saying all right well i also got those guides so feel free to watch it it's on my mini series it has a playlist on its own so go with that all right um also uh we got gear refinement for the uh for the last topic for today uh, for this video at least all right um one of the most important thing here because once you get stronger you got you got all the stones you need you got all the gears you need um you're gonna have, you're gonna have a hard time finding something to increase um your edge all right because um again this is a speed based game all right so the more speed you have um the uh the faster you are of course and you will be the first one to attack your enemy so in short you'll get fury first all right and that's really important whoever gets fury first has a higher chance of winning so um so right here we got refine okay let's say um you and your enemy has the same amount of speed okay let's say it like that same amount of speed and same amount of damage okay now how can you get an edge here is where refine comes in if you haven't refined it uh go refine your equipments now what you do is you just refine find the um attribute that you want for example um for my weapon we got agility gives me bonus agility to 222 gives me wisdom for magical defense or keto defense and i have my strength here for my um for my physical attack and physical defense okay so um that's it you know it's it's really not that hard but it's it's always good to point it out for new people because they really miss out on that so yeah and for partner combinations um if you want my uh if you want my word for it what do i think um i would go for um one two two or two two one whichever because people have different terms so um one vanguard two assaulters and two supports i think that's the most balanced formation 
that you can get in game okay so um yeah i think that's about it for this video i'm gonna put this on my mini series as well so again this is for new people okay now the topics that we discussed there is stone attributes stone placement um gear refinement and um gear fortification okay those are just the four things um but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful um if you guys need um anything else just um you know shoot me a message on my uh, facebook page or if not put it in the comment section below for professional players for pro players already um, if you have uh, different points of view, different opinions, different suggestions, go put that on the comment section below. So our new friends will have more info in their arsenal and, you know, uh, they have a lot of options, okay? Thank you very much, guys. And um, as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and peace.